that's no longer us. Oh, I've lost my sense of self. Uh, welcome to an improv show. Give us a cheer if you've been to an improv show before. Wow. Give us a cheer if you've not been to an improv show before. Yay. Oh, hello. Um, just for you all. The way that an improv show works is that we planned absolutely nothing in the show, and thus all of what we do will be fueled by your beautiful suggestions, audience. That is correct. But in order to get those suggestions from you, we need to warm your voices up. So, on the count of three, yell out your name. One, two, three. <laughs> you get any of that? Yes. Ah, uh, this is you, DJ. Very nice, nice. to meet you. Um, next, oh boy, let's let's really get a question which we get to know them personally. Yes. Um, if you were a crayon, what crayon would you be? One, two, three. Crayola. Crayola. That's interesting, you went for Crayola. I went for a <laughs> That says more about me than I think anything else Corporate in the world. shell out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So... We're gonna do some games for you now, basically. Uh, so let's let's kick things off. Let's go ahead and let's kick, kick things off. off with a game called Shopping Channels, which will require four shambles on the stage, please. Come on down, shambles. Give them a hand as they go up. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> so the way this game works is Atticus and Freddy, as they stamp up, are hosting their very own shopping channels but they've been silly gooses and they've forgotten the item they're selling, what's weird about that item, uh, and finally, the world monument. Uh, and it is up to our two shopping channel hosts, Serafina and Verity, to mime out those items for them to guess. Uh, so in order for them not to know what they're selling, we need to send them out of the room with a theme. So Atticus, <laughs> ah, well you do it. I'm doing very well, thank Great, you. Great, we'll give you a suggestion. Uh, can I get an occupation from you guys, please? Doctor. Doctor, you're the doctor shopping channel. You'll have fun with that one. Yes, sir. Uh, and Freddy, I'm not going to ask you how you're doing. Let's just jump straight in and get a hobby from you guys. Knitting! Knitting! <laughs> Freddy's a big knitter, okay? <laughs> well, you can tell. Uh, so, to recap, Atticus, your theme is... Doctor. Freddy, your theme is... Knitting. Cool, so on the count of three, we're going to send them out of the room by saying bye, Atticus and Freddy. One, two, three. Bye, bye Atticus, Atticus and Freddy. Freddy. Oh, look at them go. Off into the, to the land of the, somewhere else. Um, cool. Uh, so for Serafina, can we get an object you might find in the kitchen? <laughs> Was that two different <laughs> knives? <laughs> You're selling a knife. It's a popular item. And something unusual about this knife. Yeah, you got a balloon knife. Uh, for Verity, can we get an object you might find in the garden? A gnome. Oh, a gnome. <laughs> yes, you're selling a gnome. Uh, and there's something unusual about this gnome. It flies. It's a sentient gnome. Because <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> That's a special request. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Alive, no, you're playing mind games with me. Uh, good luck. Um, and finally, a world monument. The Angel of the North. The Angel of the North. Uh, so to recap, Serafina. I'm selling a knife that is made of balloons. Exactly, and Verity. A gnome that has gained sentience. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's alive. We'll also take this alive because it makes things easy. Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, so what we need from you guys is that when they're getting close with their guesses, we need to go, ooh, so let's have a practice. All the guess close. Ooh. Nice. And when they get it, we need a big cheer from you guys because, let's face it, it's going to be hard. Uh, so let's practice cheering. They got it! <laughs> nice. So... On the count of three, we're going to call back in Atticus and Freddy. One, two, three. Come, Come back, back in, in Atticus, Atticus and Freddy. Ah, oh, they're on their way. They're coming down. Let's give them a clap as they're coming down. Wow. Let's go, ladies. Yes. It's shopping time. And we start with Atticus and Verity. Oh, I'm a doctor, but I'm also selling things because the NHS isn't well funded. <laughs> Very topical. Anyway, what are we selling first? Ah, it's some lovely arm movements. Ooh. Switch. Hello, and welcome to the Mr. Shopping Channel. Today we're going to be knitting a scarf and guessing what we've got to sell for you. 
who would have got here in something to put cutting? Oh, our hands are very sore. Maybe from all that knitting. Uh, okay. It's time to prescribe you this item. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, now this looks like the kind of item that you've got to, you've got to crank up, maybe a jack-in-the-box, perhaps. Switch! Ooh, still knitting over here, so you're cutting. Ooh, knife? Yay! Yeah. Switch! Oh, I hope mine's not violent. I have poor violence, because I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? <laughs> oh, of course, it's a unicorn with a beard. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Scarf I've knitted for myself now. Now what's weird about the knife? It's going up. It's going up. It's going into space. Switch. Hmm. Is it perhaps some kind of animal? No. Oh, it's something you fish with. Oh, it's the fish dance. Yes. Switch. Now the knife it keeps going up and up. Oh, oh, it's gone up. Oh, we're smoking it like cigarettes. Switch. <laughs> Your, your, oh, some lovely facial hair. You seem to have some nice facial hair, nice beards, and some non-facial hair, some hair hair. <laughs> like a spike hair. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello, are you here for a diagnosis? <laughs> yes, whenever someone tickles my knees, I can't help but groan. Groan. <laughs> groan. <laughs> that kind of rhymes too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, great, well. This is something that kind of rhymes with bro, and it's something you, you put on you put on your head. Switch! <laughs> oh, wrapped up nice and warm in this scarf now. Now we were still get like a cigarette a second ago. Oh, we're putting something in it. Oh, it's exploding! Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I took it like up. We're still smoking it like a blunt. Switch! <laughs> Bone, moan, throne. I'm panicking. Oh, it's, oh, of course, yes. It's a bizarre face. Oh, you pick it up, you pick it up, and you put it on. Is it perhaps a cone? Switch! <laughs> no! <laughs> right, now, I'm not sure if we're still smoking it. We're putting it on. It's, we're holding it. it it's, it's up there. It's up in the sky. In, in space, perhaps? Oh, it's cold up there. Uh, oh, what are we doing now? Oh, we're taking it back down to smoke it again. I hope Switch! Not. Uh, this doctor's ready to go on strike. Uh, <laughs> it's something small. It's something you've got to shimmy to. You shimmy to it, you bend down, stroke your beard, and then you do the thing. Ring, 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 ring. Hell. Hi. Hello. Well, I really like Shakespeare, but I really wish it was set in the garden. <laughs> Possibly modelled after my favourite. I've heard yet. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a gnome? Yeah! <laughs> Switch! All right, I really hope she doesn't start smoking it again. Okay, now we're putting it down. What have we got here? It's a nice. Oh, 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 nice. <laughs> it makes you wink, the, the Switch! <laughs> now, what's my diagnosis for what's weird about this gnome? I thought that one was pretty good. <laughs> uh, oh dear, this gnome seems to be quite confused, quite perplexed. They're opening something. <laughs> what's that? There's something in the box. It's a box. The gnome's got a box. What's in the box? I don't think they've got the box anymore. Switch! Mm, now what have we got? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Balloon! Hey! hey! Switch! Ah, oh, this is bad. What's going on with the gnome? <laughs> the gnome seems to be facing some hard truths, facing some desperate realities. They're not happy with how life's going. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> is it a depressed gnome? <laughs> There's something in the box. Is it depression? Is it a metaphysical concept in the box? <laughs> now, we've also got a world monument. Uh, maybe I have to put the scarf on it. Oh, it's tea posing. The tea pose monument. Switch. That's my favourite. Okay. Oh, oh my word. The gnome is dead, but the gnome is. Undead. <laughs> it's a zombie no. It's a vampire no. It's a ghost no. What other undead things are there? <laughs> it's a dancing undead no. Switch. <laughs> now this monument is tea posing. What have we got? Oh, oh, a bunch of different sides. Oh, up, down, all around. Shake it all about. Do do do. Switch. <laughs> is it a, a mummy no? It doesn't know what's going on. It was dead, but now it's alive. Yes! Yes! Switch! Now, what do we got here with this monument? Ooh, still arms out, flying. Flying, it's kind of like a golden eagle with a halo and angel Switch! golden eagle. 
Now, the World Monument is, <laughs> well, it's very wise, it's very, very broad-shouldered, isn't it? A certain, a certain statue, perhaps. A certain statue, perhaps, from Brazil, maybe. Oh, it might be a certain statue from Brazil. <laughs> it's Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> it's not Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> I love it with you, that's the only statue in Brazil I know. Oh, it's going up, down, still down. Oh, all the all the four the four ways a compass, a big compass. Oh, oh, oh. Switch. Oh, it's Brazil's big compass, of course. How would I not have got that? Oh, it's praying. It's sort of like a, a weeping angel for some of the doctors. It's an angel. Oh, but it's doing a, an anime pose. No, it's not. How dare Switch. I suggest that? Now, oh, I see. Which which do which direction is it? The one that begins with N. Perhaps? Switch. <laughs> oh, it's not in Brazil, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it the Angel of the North? Yes! <laughs> wow, wasn't that fun? Okay. <laughs> well, now we're gonna play. We're gonna play a theme game called Four Square. So, four, four square, right? We're gonna need three shambles on the stage! Yeah! Ooh. Oh, yeah! Bet those of you who like maths weren't expecting that. <laughs> okay, so this is a little game. We've got three scenes going on. There's gonna be a scene between Rohan and Leofhaven and Eddie Pope. I think I have to say pan left. And then there's gonna be a scene between Lewis and Leo. And then I can pan left, and we can have our final scene between Lewis and Rohan. So, I'm going to need some suggestions for these scenes. For this scene, could I get something that you could hold in the palm of your hand? Something in gnome? <laughs> We're over that. <laughs> something else? Watch, your scene is a watch. Pan right. For this scene, could we get a non-geographic location? Not all at once, guys. Driving <laughs> okay, yeah, your scene is driving test agency. Pan right. And for our final scene, could we have some sort of platonic relationship? <laughs> Sorry? Had two at once there. Action. No? Best man of the wedding. Oh. Okay. I'm going to take groom and best man. So, your scene is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're not happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. Much. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm fine with Groove and Best. Okay, wonderful no, stuff. Pan <laughs> left. And your scene is? Driving test agency. Amazing. Pan left. And your scene is? A wash. Let's clap them in. Hello, I'd like to buy a watch, please. A watch? That's what I said. Which one? Well, I, I was hoping you could help with that. Because I can't tell the time. Yes, <laughs> I have many watches. Any of them help tell the time? <laughs> yes, they all do that. Well, that's pretty damn useful. Now sell me a watch. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a golden watch. Oh, but I, I'm allergic to gold. You can have a silver watch. I'm also allergic to silver. <laughs> and you can have a stone watch. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> The stone watch helps with your lower arm strength. But I'm already pretty swole. <laughs> Pan left. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually happening. You're getting married. Yeah, I never thought the day would come, but, you know, here we are. Here we are. Well, how are you feeling about it? Good. Uh, by the way, uh... Do you mind not doing a speech? <laughs> <laughs> the best man speech. <laughs> yeah, I I just think it would, you know, we're going for a different sort of ceremony, and 
just, you know, that no best man speaks, but you're still the best man. You're still, you know, there next week to do my time. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Robinson, I yes. regret to inform you, but you have failed your 19th consecutive series. <laughs> what was it this time? Well, over here where it says, what do you do at a roundabout? You drive straight over it, yeah. <laughs> yeah drive straight over it. Wrong, wrong. I made the noise. <laughs> over the other 18 ones, you said the same thing. Yeah, um, drive straight through, vroom, vroom. As long as you make the noise, people laugh, innit? I regret to inform you that isn't in the driver's uh, handbook. <laughs> what handbook are you reading? This is my handbook. It's only one page. This is a crudely drawn picture <laughs> of you driving through a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> I pretend that. I think it's quite a good picture of you driving through a roundabout. And you seem to have your hand out the window with the middle finger pointing out. <laughs> yes, but what's my mouth? What's the speech bubble say? Come on. I do not adhere to road laws. <laughs> <laughs> vroom, vroom. Oh yes, it says that as well. Yeah, that's, in a, that's in a thought bubble. Uh, you are not going to be allowed to drive. <laughs> Just let me drive one time. One time, let me drive, and you'll understand. Come on. I've been informed by the council that that would not be sufficient. Yeah, and the council won't take my bins anymore. We don't listen to the council. <laughs> Come on, let me drive one more time. Where's your car? All right. So, uh, it's gonna get dirty. You like our relationship right now? <laughs> Why don't you want me writing the best man speech? Why don't you want me delivering the best man it's speech? Not, it's not personal. It's not personal, okay? It's just that I've opted against do the best see, man. Do you see this? I've done too much shit no, in my no, lifetime. No. Do you see this? No. This is the speech. I have to take this to a university and get a binded line saying it was my dissertation. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything I've been working on. What did you get for it? For what? This? Yeah. Well, apparently nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you submitted it as your dissertation. What grade did you get in your... I, no, I didn't submit it as my dissertation. Oh, I well. lied and said it was, so oh. I can get it binded. Oh, okay. Look, the point is, I put a lot of effort into this, and you've just said, No, look at this guy. He's just, he's, uh, he's my friend. Where I can tell the truth. No! <laughs> I'm delivering the speech with or without you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the bins would be intrigued to hear it. Oh, right, right. Them's fighting words. That's, <laughs> um, that's my problem. I spend so long in the gym, and I don't know what, how to tell time, so I'm just there 23 and a half hours a day. <laughs> I'm all muscle. You know, even Dwayne The Rock Johnson still goes to the gym and well, gets he ain't as small as me. <laughs> okay, very good. Right, look. The, the, stone, <laughs> the stone watch solves all of your problems. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Apart from, you know, your addiction. But it, it solves all your problems. Can it fit on these muscly yes. wrists? Yes, it, it helps you improve your muscle outside of the gym and helps you keep track of time so that you don't spend too much time in the gym. Whoa, whoa, how much is too much time in the gym? Because I think well, 23 hours and a half is optimal. <laughs> Every well, day is like that. I mean, <laughs> I mean your, your sleep, nutrition, and <laughs> friends <laughs> would probably disagree with that. My friends are in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's why you need other friends. Pan right. Mr. Robinson, I'll be completely clear with you. No driving instructor will, you will allow you in their car. Are you an instructor? No, I simply... Well, then I should get in your car! Come on! Where do you want to go? Skeggy? Skeggy? Uh, I took the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you ready your bus pass? I've misplaced. And <laughs> see. <laughs> So now we're going to play a quick game called I Vow to Thee, and for that we're going to need exactly two shambles. Oh, and here they are! So the way this game is going to work is my good friends in tech... Good job, guys, good job. 
They've got a, a song lined up, which you may recognize if you're aware of the song, I Bow to Thee. And what's going to happen is our two shambles are going to be going through a scene. And at any moment, at my signal, Tech is going to begin playing this music. And our shambles are going to have to react accordingly and deliver a monologue. It's great. You'll get the hang of it. So let's get straight into it. What we're going to need is an object. And it's going to be quite big. So can I get an object which is bigger than a house? I'm not sure. <laughs> like a yacht? Yeah. Yeah. A really big vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to say a yacht. So your guys' scene is a yacht. Great, clap them in. A nice big boat, Doofus. <laughs> You expect this to float? It's too big! We're on the water! <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I didn't think this was gonna take off. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm deeply afraid of, um, I'm, I'm deeply afraid of the water. Ever since I was a young lad, I didn't know how to swim. My father tried to teach me, but yet I drowned every time. <laughs> hospital visit after hospital visit, I could not learn. And what's my father do? He said, no, young Jimmy. It's time for you to never go in the water ever again. It's just not for you, son. Don't do that. Get out the swimming pool, then. <laughs> what? Oh, God! Wait. Oh. I, Can you swim at all? No, I don't know how I'm here. Um, well, uh, Help. I don't really know. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I could, couldn't I? Um, but um, last time I helped someone, they turned their back on me when I was in the swimming pool. And I've been there for years and years, and I'm in the pool, and I'm in the pool, I'm still in the pool, I can't help you when I'm in the pool. Yeah. It's this whole yacht's just like it's one It's just a big... Pool. Are you I, sure it hasn't sunk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you mention it. I knew it! it. <laughs> and damn my fault, Lee, for thinking I should come onto your boat to tell you off about having a boat which is too large to float. I'm so arrogant. Every day I wake up and I think, who can I go out and absolutely ruin and make them hate every purchase that they've made. Just make them feel like an absolute idiot. Because that's what they're. Big boat, invest, okay? Oh, oh. I found the plug. Oh. Yeah, while you were busy sort of, you know, saying your piece again. Yeah. I found a plug, so I thought that if we pulled it, okay. we could let all the water out. Um, <laughs> I've been stuck here for a while, and there's just, I'm sick of water. I want, want to feel dry again, you know? Yeah, uh, um, you've so been I'm stuck go, here? Yeah, I've established that. I just, I don't know, man, I bought a yacht. I thought yachts are cool. I didn't uh, think there was this much water in a yacht, but now you mention it, it's probably no, starting it's not, to sink. No, it's not correct. Um, so I don't know how <laughs> no. the plug's going to help, but it's there. It's okay, there. Well, so I, I thought, you know, it's something to do. What do we do? With the plug, I don't know how to swim. Well, I do. Oh, that seems like MC. a very simple solution. <laughs> So the next game we're going to play is called 99 Balloons. And for that, we're going to need all of our shambles on stage. Come on, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy stuff, yo. So uh, this is a line game, which means that at any point, someone's going to clap, say a, uh, clap, come forward, and say a line. Uh, but the lines they will be saying uh, are going to be in the format of 99 blanks walked into blank. Uh, so. We're going to need some suggestions from you guys to get this happening. Uh, while I'm calling out, just keep them coming because we're going to get loads of them. So first category is real people. Let's get real people. Real famous people. <laughs> Not people in this room. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Lovely. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Mike Johnson. Uh, who Johnson? Oh, okay. That's Mike Tyson. Yeah, nice. 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to steer clear of that one. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Lo uh, <laughs> real, real though. Yeah. Um, keep them coming. Have we got any more real people? Robert Downey Jr. That's a good one. Huh? Elon. Elon. Okay. That's been sad. <laughs> okay, delightful, delightful, delightful. Next, we're going to do uh, fake people, also known as fictional characters. Uh, so, give me some fake people. Keep them coming. I am. I Okay. <laughs> Listen, I knew it was coming. <laughs> Anyways, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Jack Sparrow. Okay. Kermit the Frog. Ooh, Kermit the Frog. I like that one. I like, I like Kermit. Mark. <laughs> Kermit said Mark doesn't count. What was the last one? What, what, what did we get after Mark Zuckerberg? Pinocchio. Oh, lovely. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Jesus Christ. Love. Oh! <laughs> We're going to need some occupations. <laughs> um, can we get some occupations? Keep them coming. Free lawyer. Free lawyer. Okay. Free surgeon. Orthodontist. Ooh, orthodontist. Like that. Improviser. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> Lecturer, I like that. Okie dokie. Uh, keep coming. You got any more? Cameraman. Oh, I thought you said Iron Man. <laughs> and I was about to throw something. Sorry? That one's also Hollywood. No. Uh, and then finally, can we get some animals? What's Alligator. Alligator. Dog. Platypus. Dog, I like that. Red Panda. Yep, yep, very nice. Keep them going, guys. Keep them going. Okay, very nice. Ooh, like that. Oh, I like armadillo. Excuse me? Moving on. Uh, okay, guys. I think that's going to be enough. Let's start with uh, real famous people. We're going to start off with Mike Tyson. Clap him in. Nine nine Mike Tyson's walk into a bar, and that's really peculiar because normally they're doing the thing with the pull-ups on the bar. Wow. <laughs> Ninety-nine Mike Tyson's walked into a bar, and they all ran away because ninety-nine Muhammad Ali's were there. <laughs> okay. Nine nine Mike Tyson's walk into a bar, and they have a very pleasant time, and nothing happens because they're a very nice man. That's true. Yeah. Mike Tyson's walk into a bar and say, excuse me, Mr. Bartender, can I get, can I get myself a drink? 99 Mike Tyson's visits a bar with their offspring, and it's a fancy bar, so they're trying to help them get dressed, and they said, let me help with your tie, son. <laughs> 99 Mike Tyson's walk through a bar and onto a plane and beat the shit out of 99 people. <laughs> 99 Mike Tyson's walked in the bar with zero pairs of working eyes. 99 Mike Tyson's walked into a bar and like loads of pigeons, I think. Does he breed pigeons? <laughs> 99 Mike Tyson's bite everybody around, but then there's a fight in the bar and everyone starts punching each other. It's Mike Tyson's punch out for the NES. <laughs> 99 Mike Tyson's walked into a bar with 99 tigers, not to fight them, they were just their pet. 99 people in a bar are wondering why they have bite marks on all their ears. <laughs> 99 Mike Tyson's walked into a bar. Ah! It's a classic. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to move on. <laughs> what, what a note to leave it on. <laughs> uh, let's go to our fake people now. And since it was so in demand from the audience, I think I'm going to have to do Kermit. <laughs> so, 99 Kermits, let's go. 99 Kermits, a robbery. It's a big robbery. <laughs> 99 Kermits hop into a bar because he's a frog. <laughs> 99 Kermits walk into a bar. <laughs> what a bunch of Muppets. <laughs> 99 Kermits walk into a bar to drink around their sorrows of being green. <laughs> 99 Kermits weren't permitted into the bar because they're underage. 
99 Kermits walked into a bar and then everyone thought they could do a perfect impression of Kermit. So the 99 Kermits then walked out in disgust. <laughs> 99 Kermits walked into a bar. Oh my god, how did you learn to do that without a human? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Nine nine Kermis walk into a bubble. Uh oh, ninety nine Miss Piggies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so, that sure is one to leave it on. Okay, now we're gonna do Iron Man. So let's go. Ninety nine Iron Mans. Iron Man. Ninety nine Iron Men walk into a bar and Thanos is there. He's like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> 99 Robert Downey Jr. is walking to the bar and say, I am Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> 99 Iron Man's walking to a bar and then there are 99 Elon Musk's and they have this really weird interaction in Iron Man 2 and it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> 99 Iron Man's walk into a bar. Iron Men. <laughs> walk into a bar and had... 594 infinity stones. <laughs> that's, that's just quick maths. <laughs> 99 robbers walk into a bar and they feel a bit faint, so they take a vitamin tablet. Gotta get that Iron Man! <laughs> 99 Iron Mans walk into a bar and Thanos goes, but well, that's 48 and a half Iron Man. <laughs> 99 Iron Men walk into a, a, a steel bar and say, Oh, hey, how are you doing, cousin? It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> 99 Iron Men walked into a bar and started ordering a load of pepper pots. <laughs> 99 Iron Men walked into a bar and there wasn't a crease inside. It's the other type of iron. Gotcha! <laughs> So that's, that's These are getting worse. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, let's go now to occupation. And I think the first one is going to be orthodontist. So 99 orthodontist. Here we go. 99 orthodontist walking to a bar. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> 99 orthodontist walking to a bar and say, I hope you're not selling fizzy drinks. <laughs> but they were, so they left. <laughs> 99 dentists walk into a bar. Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> I'll be back. 99 orthodontists walked into a bar and got really angry because they'd run out of straws. 99 orthodontists walk into a bar and the barman looks at it after and goes, Oh, that's what this dent is. Like, <laughs> the wrong way around. It wasn't worth it. 99 orthodontists walk into a bar and they say, we're going to do an x-ray. And then all 99 of them just, like, bolt it. They're out of there. 99 orthodontists walk into a bar and looking for the one guy that didn't recommend all beef. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Oh, oh, we got more? I was letting the laugh on. It's probably get better. Come on. What's going on? Okay, let it <laughs> Go on then! Say it if it's not that good! That's good! Uh, 99 orthodontists walk into a bar and then they have to get 99 other orthodontists in because they've walked into a bar and knocked out the front teeth. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. orthodontist walked into a bar and then 99 people panically said, ah shit, where's my retainers? <laughs> well, <laughs> we're done with that. <laughs> well, please no. <laughs> uh, let's move on to animals. Uh, I think we're going to go with platypus first. Hey. Oh, <laughs> no. 99 platypi walk into a bar and everyone's really confused. They're like, a platypus? And then a bunch of fedoras fall from the sky. And they're like, Perry the platypus! <laughs> 99 platypuses walked into... <laughs> 90... They walked into a bar <laughs> and started ordering Perry Perry sauce. <laughs> 99 platypi walk into a bar and then they just start laying an egg and they're like, what the hell? You're a mammal! Mammals don't do that! What? 99 ducks and 
nice like beavers walk into a bar and like they look at each other. It's like, could we make this sort of more efficient? <laughs> Ninety nine plus platypuses go to a bar after beating up a guy for putting for trying to put a fedora on their head. <laughs> Ninety-nine platypuses walk into a bar. Uh, no wonder they're so flat. <laughs> Ninety-nine platypi walk into a bar. Uh, it's just a massacre because I think they're venomous. Like they're, they're really scary. I don't know. Hello, I'm Baljeet. And I took ninety-nine Barry the platypi into a bar. <laughs> 99 platypuses walk into a bar and the barman goes, do you want a drink? And they're like, we do, we do, we do, ba do, we do, we do, ba, we do, we do, ba. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, let's do the last one. I think we're going to go with 99 dogs. Keep it simple. Here we go. 99 dogs walk into a bar. Only one will exit. Who is? The goodest boy! <laughs> 99 dogs walked into a bar, but I let them out. Stop singing about it. 99 dogs walk into their hotel bar. It's a hotel for dogs. <laughs> Woo! 99 dogs walk into a bar, and on the way, they all shit in my garden. <laughs> 99 dogs fall from the sky into the bar with 99 cats. <laughs> 99 dogs walked into a bar and the bar person went, Whoa, that's a lot of dogs. <laughs> 99 dogs walked, oh no, I said walk, they're going to want to walk now, they're all excited, oh jeez. <laughs> 99 dogs walked into a bar and at the same time the bartender said, I've had enough of this guy, I'm throwing him out. And then, oh no, the dogs chased after him and brought him back. What a silly bunch of dogs. 99 dogs walked into a bar and someone said, wow, it's raining. Dogs. 99 dogs walked into a bar backwards and they all became God. <laughs> Apologize in advance. Uh, 99 investigator dogs walk into a bar in which a murder recently occurred in. They're all looking for leads. Uh, oh. 99 dogs walk into a bar and the barman, right, he knows the Krabby Patty secret formula. So they're all pestering, like, give him the formula, give him the formula. They're really hounding him. <laughs> 99 dogs walk into a bar and the bartender goes, oh, I guess I'll fetch a pint. <laughs> 99 dogs walked into a Weatherspoon's bar and ate a bunch of curries because that's basically dog food. <laughs> 99 dogs walked into a tree. Bark, bark! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right. Let's let's go with the, 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 the zero from number ten Downing Street. Is what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think fit oh, it's just the number ten. The actual number ten. Oh, sorry. Um, right. <laughs> right. Let's let's rewind this back for like ten seconds. Um, you need one second. <laughs> <laughs> There's auditions this week. Please, yeah. Should we sort places? Oh, right, look, well, we have to go with that now. The, the zero from the number 10 in no specific location has gone missing. Right, that's our world crisis. Now, for, for our first... I wasn't listening. <laughs> uh, all right. The, the zero has gone from the number 10. So wait, go, okay, we have, yeah. So the number 10 doesn't exist in its form. No, don't, don't overthink it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Too far. All right, let's be, all right, wild crisis. That's the, can we get a useless superpower for our first superhero? You're really good at breaking. Reading your own mind. <laughs> Let's go with reading your own mind. Okay, so the first superhero's power is reading their own mind, and the world crisis is the zero has gone from the number ten. Let's clap them in. <laughs> That can't be right. What? What? I don't know how to feel about this. Wait, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, this surely is it. Well, the date today was uh, the 10th of May. Let's check the calendar. No! No, it's not! Oh, oh, God. Oh, let me check the news. Oh, God! It's just the number one on repeat! That's the only thing on the news! It's normally the number ten on repeat. Oh, God! Oh, what am I gonna do? I, I know how I feel about this, but I don't know how the world feels about this. I need to call up one of my superhero friends. Maybe they can help me solve it. Um, oh, who, who should I call? Go through the yellow pages under number... One. Ah! Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Hello? Hello. Is this is this Doctor Gravedigger? <laughs> yes, this is Doctor Gravedigger. What seems to be the problem? I want you to count to eleven for me, right now. Okay. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, yeah, five. Good. Uh, six, mm -hmm. seven, yep. eight, Good. nine. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're feeling right now, but I don't feel good about it. I, I think you need to come, to come to my place within the basement of the Arby's ASAP. Okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, you got here quickly. Oh, sorry. Hello. I can it feel I. you were coming. Dr. Gravedigger. Yes. Oh, well, you've realized the problem. Uh, yeah, I've realized the problem. You should have seen it. I have... I had, I, had to, I had to finish this grave by 4 o'clock, and I thought it was 10 too, and then BAP! One minute, and then what all, one minute. The, the family's there, and it's all oh, you should. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> sounds like a nightmare. It was. What are we gonna do? I have no clue. What, How, what do you do about a vanishing number? It's so, so conceptually difficult to grasp. <laughs> maybe, I don't understand what to do. Maybe it's impossible for us to do, but you know what? If anyone can do it, it'd be us. Wait, what's your power? I, I know how I'm feeling. I can be back in I'm so envious. <laughs> Trust me, it's good to be me. Just so in tune with yourself. Oh, yes. you lucky dog. <laughs> Don't need therapy. Well, I do. 
Oh. But never mind that. Never mind that. The whole world's gonna need therapy if this number issue isn't fix fixed soon. I mean, our entire numerical system is based around oh, multiples tens of tens. Or multiples of tens. This is... We're doomed. We're absolutely... I, I mean, my power's pretty easy. I don't really have a... I just have a job. <laughs> you're the, but you're the best. Yeah. You dig I'm, those graves like no other. Yeah, it's like real deep, but like... Real solid Yeah, six. solid structures. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Well, well, you know what we need to do? We, we, we need to, we need to expra expand. We need, we to, need to expand broaden this our operation. Because between being comfortable with oneself yeah. <laughs> and knowing how to dig a hole, we haven't got <laughs> much that can offer the world no. here. I've got a good... I, I know somebody. I've got a friend. Okay. Let me call him. Please. Yeah. <laughs> person who can always talk their way out of a speeding ticket. <laughs> you betcha. I don't know if you've seen the news, but we've got a crisis. What's the crisis? We'll see the news. Oh my god, it's the number one on repeat! It's mad, isn't it? Because it's usually, it's usually... Ten! Yeah! It's usually ten, ten that's the number of speeding ten tickets. I've talked my way out of it! Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna have to get over here as soon as possible. Okay. Don't worry, I've opened oh, the door. That's convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, I don't know about this, guys. I was speeding down the highway trying to get my one. Oh, oh, oh a speeding ticket. But then I said one instead of ten, and then my life was terrible. <laughs> Tragic! What, terrible what a stuff. unique terror. I need to get the ten. I need to get the... The, 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 I've forgotten the word, but I need to get that number of speeding tickets so I can feel satisfied about my life. What I, about 11? Shut up! <laughs> Listen, I... Can you fix this? Please. <sighs> okay. Uh, I mean, I can go down the highway. I mean, I can... I, uh, 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 how much, how much miles can I, can I do? Can I do... Can you can the, 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 I'm very, feeling very wantative. Eleven minus one. <laughs> no such number exists right now. No, but minus it's one. What is the way we can one? understand it. Eleven minus one. Is it one? Oh, God, no! Is it two? I don't know! Six. You need to fix this! Oh, God. What's the point of God. you talk your way out of What's driving? the point of you, self-awareness man? Uh, I feel hurt by that. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, you're such a genius. Why'd you invite him? Why'd you invite him? Honestly, I just I just find him a bit amusing to watch. Okay, well that's. Do you have? Do, is it just the speeding tickets? Then. You oh, that's them? my only thing, Grave Digger oh. Man. Because oh, you're so useful oh, too. Call someone else. Get I someone do? else. In oh, here. okay. Jesus oh, Christ. fine. I'll call someone who can actually deal with this. Please. Process. They usually add up all my speeding tickets. Boop. Hello. Hello. Is this the Mathlet? Well, I'm pretty sure you're just, you're just real good at maths, you know. Just maths is your specialty and you can kind of just invent maths at will. Yep, that's me, so that's right. Get on down here, we got a crisis. Where? It's the, the, you know, you where know the I? number, what, the. Where I, what's your name, okay, you, you just said get on down here, I don't know where you are. Well, I just assume you know where I am. The basement of the Arby's. Oh, the basement of the Arby's, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Bye. Yeah. Why would you bring the Mathlet here? <laughs> the Mathlet's oh, my Mathlet. truest friend in life. Why is he dull in glass? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I thought it was fancy. He's so in tune with his emotions, he doesn't need a, a, I, a no paint door to hide him. <laughs> it's a representation of his psyche. He's completely see-through. A ransom. A very dark inside. This is an odd choice of voice. What's wrong? <laughs> well, you know that number you get when you do 11 minus 1, Mathlet? Four nine plus one. <laughs> no, that wouldn't work. Can't think. Wait. One. See, this is the same problem we've been having. Wait, wait. wait. How many graves have you dug this week? Well, I just finished the ninth one, but I gotta go on to the one. And how many of your own emotions <laughs> are you aware of? Thousands. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say a hundred times 
No, never mind. <laughs> no, no, this is good. Maybe with our combined powers, if we all do the thing at once, maybe we can restore the number. I'm on my ninth speeding ticket. Decimals. Elaborate, Mathlet. What if we times it by a decimal and then it would be like different math points adding? Yeah, it might confuse them. I understand. That makes perfect sense. Of course! I feel that this is the correct solution. Of course, of course. We forgot about the decimals. So we need to all do our ninth plus one thing and then times it by the decimal. That's right. Right. Okay. okay. Now, read your emotion. Dig your grave. I'm feeling! <laughs> dig in a hole. Oh, I'm digging a hole. <laughs> no, officer, I swear I didn't speed. <laughs> Ten points. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> That's French. Um, so basically, our next game is called Three Headed Broadway Star. We need three people on the stage for that. Come on up. Yeah! Woo! How does this game work? I hear you ask. <laughs> Thanks. Um, basically, this game works. Uh, our artist here has three heads, and they're going to sing a song. But each head can only say one word, so they have to sing a song, saying a word each, and then keep going. Uh, you have a name, don't you, famous artist? What's your name? Arch Duke Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 
anything. Oh, my snack. I <laughs> wanted that so bad. <laughs> my snack attack. How could it do me <laughs> so wrong? <laughs> my snack attack. My snack attack. <laughs> my stomach is so hungry. <laughs> Give me food. Give me snacks. Sustenance. I wish I had another bar of chocolate. But the vending machine deceived me that I could be so full. Yet I don't have a another snack <laughs> because my snack attack my snack <laughs> attack my snack attack my snack my snack attack my snack attack Make sure to check it out. Um, anyways, it's time for the last game of the night. Aww. It is sad. Okay. Uh, the way that <laughs> the name of this game is called Meanwhile Time Warp, in which we'll need two shambles on stage to start. Yes, here they come. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Wow, a strong handshake. Um, the way that this game works is quite simple. These aren't the only shambles you'll see on stage. As throughout the scene, as they uh, do things, I can clap and say, meanwhile at this location, or time warp to that location. And if there's other characters, our shambles will run on stage and fill up those characters as need be. For example, I wonder what's happening at the Argos. Mm. Meanwhile at the Argos, <laughs> Meanwhile, at the original scene, that's how it works. Happening. Yep, that's what's happening. Except, ideally, we'll make some sort of tangible plot for you to enjoy. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we won't. Um, that's literally all the rules of the game. It's quite simple. So, from you all, I'm just gonna need a. Oh, let's get a non-geographic location. Purgatory. Oh. <laughs> that's interesting. No. Uh, <laughs> Igloo? Igloo. Caravan. Ooh, Our caravan. Our houses are sins. I said they are sins. I understand, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like caravan. I'm going to say that this scene, uh, your, your suggestion is caravan. Please clap them in. Caravan, then. Depends where you're heading, partner. Where do you want to go on my caravan? I don't want to go anywhere on your caravan, you fiend. I'm here to investigate rumors of caravan misconduct. <laughs> I'm warped to when they heard the rumors. Ah, uh, it's a lonely old life. So, <laughs> messy caravan. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm warped to the original scene. <laughs> I need to check how clean your caravan is, do you understand? Well, do you, do you have a warrant to check the cleanliness of my caravan? I don't need a warrant, you fiend. I am the caravan-based law. <laughs> well, you better come on board, come on board. Yes. Here we are on board the caravan. See, spotless, almost empty, in fact. <laughs> oh, my lord. You call this spotless, man? Look at it. I can barely see my own feet. Where is it gone? There's mess everywhere in here. I'd be ashamed if I were you. 
Uh, it takes a lot more than that to make me feel shame. This caravan's been with me since day damn one. Time warp to day damn one. My boy, Why? I am terminally ill, and in my will I shall leave you my caravan. <laughs> Goodbye, son. <laughs> Time warp to the original scene. Well, I'm very sorry. I didn't, I didn't know those were the circumstances under which you acquired this caravan. Yeah. But that's no excuse. This place is a pigsty. My mentor from university and caravan studies would have a fit if he saw this. Let me tell you. Do we... Caravan University? Yes. Were you there in 94? Yes, I was there in 94. Oh, but you were this... We might have been in the same class. No. No, Time certainly not. Time to the Caravan University in 1994. <laughs> Welcome to Introduction to Caravan Studies. It is 1994. <laughs> now, why do you want to study the caravans? This is bullshit, I'm off. <laughs> Time work to the original scene. No, I finished with, uh, with a first, so I mean, I probably would have known you if, uh, if, if you know, we'd, we'd met, yeah. Boss, I'm under here! Don't pay any attention to that. No, that's not my room. Don't look in that here cabinet. Don't look in there. <laughs> Help me! No, I'm gonna have a look in the cabinet. No, 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 I think I am going to have a look. This is Caravan! Hello. <laughs> Hi, boss. You saved me. Oh, wonderful. Why, why don't you get up? Why don't you? What, how, how long have you been in that cabinet, dear boy? Uh, since I reported it to you. Time more to how they got in that cabinet. Oh, I appreciate you reporting it to that guy, but could you just check my cabinet before it comes, please? Just check the cabinet. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll help him out, yeah. Just get in there. Just get in there nice There's a messy just caravan! Oh, my God! A charm! Oh! Time <laughs> to the original scene. Let's hold on a second. If you were told to report it, has this been a trap? It has. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, a messy trap! Yes, the West I, am, I am a master of messy kung fu. All of the martial artists fear kung fu, but messy. <laughs> Meanwhile, with all the other kung fu masters who hate messy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, it's clean, nice and clean, isn't it, you know? But what, those messy martial artists? No, especially the ones you've seen. Oh, yeah, my God. <laughs> Want to watch a YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the original scene. I'm going to use these here skills to stop inspectors like you ruining the caravan business. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? Ooh. Better not call for backup. That would be really inconvenient <laughs> for me. Why don't you call for backup? Oh, oh good idea. <laughs> yes. Messy caravan! <laughs> Meanwhile, with backup. At least have you got your gun? <laughs> <laughs> Messy caravan. Messy caravan. Ah, my old student. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps it's time for me to get back into the game with my friend. Rich! Messy caravan. Messy caravan. Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the original scene. Well, shit, I didn't think he'd go out the window. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he'll be here any second, I'm sure. Oh. So, uh, oh, here they are. How wonderful. Did someone see it was a messy caravan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a lot of sock on your floor, is it? It's oh. their caravan. Not my caravan. Whoa, 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 whoa. They had it since day one. Whoa, <laughs> I know you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Which? I, I think there's been some terrible misunderstanding. They, they were there in 1994 at my introduction to caravan studies lecture. And I seem to remember you graduated with a first. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> Wait, so whose caravan is this? Is it your, is it your caravan? No. It's that caravan. I'm going to be off now. Oh, oh, messy oh, caravan! Yes. Messy. Messy Wait caravan. a second. There's a trail of mess following them along the floor. Maybe we should trace it and find out if they have a true source of the mess. 
Well, obviously. But yes, yes, I think they are. I think okay, well, fine. Yeah. Well, okay then. Fine. I guess so. Yep. No! Well, let's go! No! Mercy! Mercy! Farewell. Meanwhile, with the person on the run. Oh, jeez. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, they're not coming. I think I'm safe. Where? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. You are not safe. <laughs> go on, run your little legs. <laughs> Why is there this trail of mess that's befall you? I have a confession. <gasps> I carry the mess with me ever since 1994 in your very lecture theatre when you said to take the mess with you and not leave it in the caravan. But I don't leave the caravan! <laughs> <laughs> That's <I'm> terrible. <laughs> He's the real villain here. No, I was trying to give some advice to my students on an introductory day. You're my shooting, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're covered in mess. I mean, legally, we have to take you in. <laughs> yes. You don't have to, you really. Come on, No, please. I think you legally have Time to Time warped to when the laws were written. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 1993. <laughs> Time to write some laws so that my students know what they're getting themselves into. I'm sure this will become very relevant later. Time warped to the original scene. I mean, I admit it's an old law, but it's, it's the one we follow. <laughs> I've had that caravan since day damn one. <laughs> and I knew it'd be the day damn death of me. I, I don't have any handcuffs. Do you have any I can See you later then. Oh. MC. <laughs> But with that, please welcome all of our channels back onto the stage and give them a round of applause. They are back, Verity, Rohan, Anakin, Serafina, Freddy, Cleo, Lewis. That's Ryan, by the way. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you in V-Bar. What's up here to Ted? Yes, thank you, Ted.